Now we continue to hear just amazing stories coming out of these fires. When the Riverside fire broke out last week, neighbors worked tirelessly to save their own community. Chris Alcum way was in Malala earlier today and has the story of an incredible group with a very memorable nickname. A community in Molala can now get some sleep. A typical day up here would start about 4 a.m. Because these volunteers stay awake. Well, the first couple days there was no sleep for anybody around here. When the fast approaching Riverside fire prompted a level three go now evacuation, they quickly moved their loved ones to safety. There was a, a group of guys that said, no, there's still family, uh, family property that we got to protect. and. At that point, there was no other support. At the time, resources were deployed to other places. We weren't going to sit around and watch our everything our ancestors have done up here just burn to the ground, so we just attacked it head on. A grassroots movement of neighbors and family members came together. And then the donations and the equipment and the local landowners and loggers uh, just started showing up. They had close to 80 volunteers help out on these hills outside of Molala. And we were punching fire lines. People were doing it by hand with equipment, whatever it came down to, and where they they would go out and scout out to see where it needed to be so it wouldn't come back down the valley and take out all the homes and lands. Most of the volunteers were born and raised on these hills. They have an intimate knowledge of the roads. It was paramount to have that knowledge of how these roads connect, how the topography of the ground comes together, in order to get fire lines cut where we needed them, send the resources where we needed them. They believe they saved hundreds of homes. The community is thankful for their work. Shows of gratitude can be seen around town. We're just good people that were doing what we needed to do in a time of need. It's not a surprise. You know, these are guys that I played with in the mud. These are kids that I played with football with. Those guys over there were my mentors in life. They've been referred to as the Hillbilly Brigade or the Malala Militia. They are though reluctant to be called heroes. It's a solid group of people and I would just encourage everybody, take the opportunity to know your community. The Department of Forestry has taken over operation, but the group says they are monitoring the area and are ready to step in if need be. In Molala, Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.